Hello, my name's Dan, Daniel Miner. I'm an American. I was born in Iowa, but I've lived most of my life here in Japan. I'm an English teacher. That's why I came to Japan, and that's what I continue to do today. I've been in Japan now since 1988, so that's 34 years, more than half of my life. That entire time, I've been teaching English at universities here in Japan. I came to Japan because, well, I've always been interested in foreign cultures, foreign people, foreign languages. And Japan was some place that, although I knew a little about it, mostly from television, movies, and so on, uh, it really wasn't that familiar to me. So that I knew by coming to Japan, I would be learning new things every day. That was a major consideration when I chose Japan. I don't want to just be a teacher, I want to be a student. I want to learn all my life, and I knew that that's something I could do here in Japan. Uh, I lived in Niigata for two years, and the rest of my time, so 32 years, I've been in Kumamoto Prefecture, uh, living in different places here, Kumamoto City and uh, Tamana. I teach full-time at the university, teaching English. I enjoy it very much. Why do I enjoy Japan? It's the culture, uh, the people, the food, uh, the nature. So many things are wonderful here. Uh, the food is great. Not only does it taste good, but it makes you feel good. It's healthy, healthy food. Uh, you know, but healthy food isn't good if you don't enjoy eating it. And that's one of the great things about Japanese food is the taste and the nutrition go hand in hand. It's, it's a great, great cuisine. I also love the, the nature here. Uh, as many people and as dense a population as there is in Japan, uh, nature is always nearby. Uh, just a short, short drive, uh, train ride, or get in your car or on your motorcycle and, and take a short ride and you can be surrounded by green. Mountains, the ocean, whatever you like, you can find it here in Japan. It's wonderful. And another wonderful thing about Japan is the people. The people are so respectful of each other. Uh, there's a great concern for not getting in others way not offending people um, this care about each other in that regard I think is is very special in Japan uh, I've lived in uh, other societies where that wasn't the case where people seem to do the opposite and go out of their way to uh, be offensive even but here in Japan that's just not going to happen. Uh, so food, nature, uh, the culture, the people are all wonderful. There is a flip side to the culture though that is a little bit difficult to, uh, to get used to. One of the things that I don't like as well about Japan is uh, the way everyone seems to do everything at the same time uh, all together. Uh, everyone's thinking is so synchronized that uh, when there are holidays, every place is crowded because everyone does the same thing at the same time. And that can be uh, a little bit frustrating. Uh, I'm not one that really cares for crowds and things like that. Uh, so that's one thing that I don't really like as much. Uh, a challenge for me has been the language. The spoken language is not so difficult. Um, well, it is. But then again, as a foreigner, Japanese are very forgiving of the foreigner not, uh, not being perfect uh, in their level of formality and so on. 
Reading and writing, though, are a whole new challenge. Uh, you know, uh, not using the alphabet, using the own uh, original Japanese script um, makes things uh, difficult. And that took a long time to get used to, and I'm still not very good. Even after 34 years, I'm still not very good at reading and writing in Japanese. Um, but, uh, you know, all in all, very, very promising, uh, very, very uh, positive uh, attitude that I have toward Japan. I'm really happy that I've spent my, uh, so much of my life here. In the future, well, uh, I plan to always have Japan be a big part of my life. Uh, my daughter, who uh, lives here in Japan, intends to stay here for her entire life. And since she'll be here, I'll be here a lot too. Although I may be living outside the country for uh, large parts of the time, you can be sure that I will often be traveling back to Japan and spending a lot of time here in Japan. I have so many close ties with friends and family. 34 years in this country, uh, I've made uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of contacts, a lot of friends uh, that uh, I treasure and will far into the future. Okay, so thanks for listening.